On December 31st, 2019, the Taiwan Center for Disease Control sent an email to the World Health Organization informing WHO of its understanding of the disease and requesting for more information. Why did WHO not take Taiwan CDC observations seriously? Did Taiwan warn WHO on 31 December 2019? The answer is no, they didn't. They did send an email, but that email was not a warning. It was a request for more information on cases of atypical pneumonia reported by news sources. Others, in fact, sent similar emails that same day, also asking for more information. Since Taiwan has made the message public, I'll read out the full content today. News resources today indicate that at least seven atypical pneumonia cases were reported in Wuhan, China. Their health authorities replied to the media that the cases were believed not SARS. However, the samples are still under examination and cases have been isolated for treatment. I would greatly appreciate it if you have relevant information to share with us. Thank you very much in advance for your attention to this matter. Best regards. The email wasn't a warning and it only contained information that WHO already had picked up from internet reports. It's also important to say that the Wuhan situation had already been captured by WHO on that day, 31 December 2019. WHO activated its incident management protocols the next day on January 1st, and then, along with embedded scientists from other governments, WHO began the work which continues to this day, analyzing the data and seeking additional information. We know there are also questions about Taiwan's participation in WHO expert meetings and questions about their participation in the World Health Assembly. WHO is an intergovernmental organization, meaning that countries decide how the, organiza how the organization is structured and on its policies. Some 49 years ago, the UN and WHO decided that there was only one legitimate representative of China within the UN system, and that is the People's Republic of China. That decision still stands. Regarding expert meetings on technical health matters, last year Taiwanese experts were included at eight expert meetings, and there were six other informal technical meetings. This year, in response to COVID-19, Taiwanese experts are involved in key groups and networks. We've had telephone conferences with their CDC, Dr. Van Kerkhove and myself, and we'll do so again. And as noted, their IHR contact point links their CDC directly to WHO headquarters. In the COVID-19 response, especially they have had notable successes and we appreciate their contributions. Regarding the World Health Assembly, the next one will be in two weeks, starting on May 18th. The involvement if any, of Taiwanese observers in that assembly is a question for the 194 governments of WHO. This is not something that WHO Secretariat has authority to decide. It is not the role of WHO staff to be involved in geopolitical issues. In fact, our principles of neutrality and impartiality exist to keep us out of those issues and to promote the role of evidence-based science in all our work.